didn't take long. Thank goodness. I got some uh, I got some comments on a couple of last videos about how how long the videos are and how long it takes me to shoot and all that good stuff. So um, for you guys that that don't like them being that long, sorry about it. You know that's what it is. It's sometimes that's what happens. They come in, they they hang out a while. See me just shooting. Shit, you know you can watch my shorts or stuff like that and and um, enjoy all that. Your guys with those low attention spans don't have to sit there and, and watch me uh, look at pigs for, for 15 minutes. So I enjoy it personally. I enjoy watching them. I enjoy waiting for it. She was, she was you know, giving me some odd angles there for a little bit. And I really, really waited for that perfect shot, which worked out really well because she didn't go very far. So, Ooh, did I say it was hot? Yeah. Yeah, it's hot. Already got one on the ground. Six o'clock. Can't beat that. One thing I didn't notice is the branches when I got up into the tree. So I started filming, and yep, there you go. I don't see these things. And now I'm like, oh shoot, I can't get a good view of these pigs and a good shot, you know, with all these branches going in there. I'm sitting there looking, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, well, I'm moving my camera around, trying to figure out a different angle that I can put the camera on that maybe will get rid of these branches. And the only thing I can figure out is that I have to move my camera arm to my left side, which that's going to be interesting when you're sitting in the tree with with some pigs down at the feeder you know how are you going to do this without moving too much and so i figured i'd give it a try So I duck down as low as I can and I can feel it on my back a little bit and I'm just trying to get that camera moved over there nice and easy nice and easy nice and easy and as soon as I sit back whoops here we go How these pigs did not spook after all that, I have no idea. It sounds loud, but luckily enough, I was able to uh, move the camera enough and to get a good angle on the shot I was about to take.
now I got the camera set up and it's looking good but the feeder leg is right in front of me I just don't have a shot so I want her to step forward and look away so I'm just waiting for that leg to come forward maybe one or two steps and so she's looking away from me to give me a good, good vital shot. movement and I can tell she's about to step forward she's got to that's where the corn is so she's going to step forward in one or two spots and it's going to give me a good opening to give me that perfect shot I hate to say this, if you guys watch me a lot, you know I'm, what I'm about to say and what it's going to happen. From what it looked like, she just fell 20 yards in the wood over there. Now in the woods, I've seen some jumping around, moving around. It looked like a really, really good shot. It looked like an amazing shot. Um, it was only 18 yards, you know. You can't. It's a chip shot. It'll look like a really good shot. I've been known to hate the result of me saying that, but we're gonna see. We're gonna get on that. We're gonna see. So you guys that watch, um, if you think my videos are too long, I you know I'm sorry. I just try to make them enjoyable, watchable. Um, to give you the experience, the, you know, I know when you're watching them, you're at work or at, you know you're not able to be hunting. So this is my chance to take you hunting with me, um, and that's all I want. You know, give you guys a chance to come hunting with me, um, see what it's like down here. I wish you could have. You know, I wish you could feel how hot it is <laughs> right now. I wish. I wish YouTube had a heat setting in your house that turns it to what I'm sitting in right now. Um, we're gonna move a little bit. It's literally just a six o'clock, so we got 30 minutes before the feeders go off. I'm cool with that. I'm really excited about going up, finding this pig, hopefully pretty quick. She didn't even go to Getting it up to the skin and shed. Getting it scanned, getting in the ice before it even gets dark. So, um, walking in, just walking in 30 minutes ago, seen two turkeys, a deer, um, and I just thought to myself, man, I love it down here. I just love this property. It's just, 
ate up with animals. You know, we got alligators and everything else down here too, but it's just Lure such out. a great getaway. Um, I'm blessed and lucky to, to have a, a good friend named Chuck that owns this place and that gives me just full access to it. Are we gonna play what she weighs? I guess we can. Um, I'll weigh her and if you wanna take a guess at it, uh, take a guess. If you get it right, maybe, I don't know. I, I keep telling you guys I'll do this, nobody ever gets, yeah, I, I had one guy get it right. But if you want to, take a guess. Um, yeah, I always can uh, message me at joe at averagearchers.com if you need anything, uh, gabowhunter829 at gmail, uh, on Facebook, Average Joe with a bow. You know who it is. So let's find out what she is.